I'm Craig Forrest, and I'm happy to uh, talk to you today about some of the activities in the Precision Biosystems Laboratory. We'll be talking about sensitive and specific sensor arrays for genetic diagnostics. That's what our lab works on. So there's a lot of reasons why our lab is interested in very high throughput genetic instrumentation and, and sensor arrays. They give very accurate, repeatable, and sensitive measurements. We can systematically explore a parameter space to discover lots of things like limiting reagents or chemistries. We can obtain useful volumes, for example, with protein purification, or look at a useful area of maybe tissue biomarkers. Um, <clears throat> we, can, uh, we can do DNA screening looking at mutations in large population pools, for example. And when you can do high throughput, you can enable genetic feedback to even control cellular processes. So the instruments that our lab works on are capable of making thousands to billions of measurements simultaneously. We load, manipulate, and measure the samples in a single uh, integrated instrument. These measurements are cheap and scalable. That's what allows us to do so many of them simultaneously. An interdisciplinary study is essential. So the students in our lab come from backgrounds in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, biomedical, and bioengineering. We try to bring graduates and undergraduate students together in this interdisciplinary environment to make this kind of instrumentation possible. Let me tell you about a few of the projects going on really quickly. One is on infrared laser PCR. For those who don't know, PCR is a simple DNA amplification technique. It's done all over the world. We're trying to modify that process using an infrared laser diode. Here I'm showing you a laser diode heating two little Eppendorf tubes simultaneously. And we can, uh, because the uh, volumes of the sample are very small and the laser wavelength is specifically tuned to this reaction, we can heat the sample extremely quickly at over 30 degrees C per second. So we can do the entire DNA amplification reaction in just a few minutes. And there are lots of other uh, applications of this kind of instrument, such as detecting pathogens in blood, um, looking for specific disease mutations, and very rapidly in a handheld uh, type format. Let me tell you about some other work we're doing. We've made a number of micro lens arrays. These help with sensitive and specific uh, optical excitation and detection of fluorescence. We've invented a technique called microforging, which is depicted here, which allows us to make tiny arrays of thousands of little lenses. Here's one. This is as big as a thimble. It's got a hundred tiny lenses on it. Each one is perfectly curved to help us focus incident radiation to do fluorescence excitation and detection. Another project in our lab involves using microfluidics to study thrombosis or heart attacks. So as blood goes through a narrowing in a channel, <clears throat> it'll experience high shear and that triggers uh, blood clotting which is exactly what happens in the coronary arteries during a heart attack. So we've developed some instruments to study this. This is a tiny microfluidic device, and blood is flowing through all four channels simultaneously. Each channel has different dimensions, so as the blood goes through, it experiences different shear rates. We can see clotting as a function of time differently, and this instrument has dramatically improved the amount of volume required for this kind of study, the amount of time required, and has increased the number of parallel experiments we can do as well. And this is a collaboration with David Koo here at Georgia Tech. Another thing our labs uh, had some experience doing is making massive arrays of capillaries. This is a forest of 10,000 tiny capillaries. And there are cool things you can do with this, like flow DNA up through the capillaries to look at mutations across a huge population pool Coupled with our lens array, we can do sensitive fluorescence detection on all 10,000 capillaries simultaneously. We can also use them as neural probes. So you take the capillary array and stick it into your brain, and you can tell when the neurons are firing and map out the neural network. And this is a collaboration with Ed Boyd at MIT. So that concludes some of the activities in our lab. Uh, as you can see, it's an interdisciplinary lab. We combine precision manufacturing, optics, and, uh, and molecular biology research to ultimately build very high throughput genetics instruments. And I'd be happy to have anybody contact me if you like. It's just c4s at gatech.edu. Or definitely check out our lab website, which is just pbl.gatech.edu, and send me an email if you're interested. Thanks.